Um, hello, Alan. I'm Chris Shang. I'm a student at Harvard working with Professor Brinka Zinnick. So I'm super excited to be here to talk about um, Therapeutic Data Commons, TDC, which is just released yesterday. Um, so TDC is a joint work done with Tina Tan, who from Georgia Tech, um, Wen Hao from MIT, Yue from CMU, and uh, Marinka. Um, so we honor that therapeutics are one of the most exciting areas for machine learning. And the therapeutic data are the cornerstone uh, to apply any machine learning algorithms for therapeutic tasks. However, there are lots of challenges uh, about therapeutic data set, such as like retrieving, curating, and processing machine learning ready data set is time consuming and requires extensive domain expertise, especially as what Andrew just was mentioned, the, the, data, rep the, the data quality is, is, is very important. And uh, uh, in addition, data sets are always scattered around the, like lots of file repositories and there's no centralized repository for a variety of therapeutic tasks. So due to these two problems, uh, 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 current machine learning community focus on a relatively small set of, of benchmark tasks to propose new, new, new models, but the majority of uh, meaningful therapeutic tasks are underexplored, mainly due to the lack of data access problem. So, um, so to tackle these challenges, we propose therapeutic data commons TDC uh, in, in, in its core, TDC is open source machine learning data sets for therapeutics. It covers a wide range of tasks from target discovery, activity screening, efficacy, safety, and all the way to manufacturing. And it also covers a wide range of products from, for example, small molecules, antibodies, vaccine, microRNA, and so on. So in addition to the machine learning data set, we also want to, uh, we also provide lots of um, data functions to support uh, machine learning research, such as uh, data evaluation, data processing helpers, and various realistic data splits, and also molecule generation oracles, and so on. So all of these data sets and data functions can be accessed using only three lines of code. So um, the vision of TDC is to become a, a bridge between domain scientists and machine learning scientists. So in the future, we hope domain scientists can um, con contribute and identify meaningful therapeutic tasks and data sets to TDC, and we will organize them into machine learning ready data set where, where, where machine learning scientists across the world can rapidly use the data set to design powerful machine learning models. And, and, and together we can um, advance uh, new algorithms for key therapeutic problems. So that's the vision uh, for TDC. So as, so as TDC covers such a wide range of uh, therapeutic tasks and data set with varying data structures, we propose a, a special uh, data structure to organize these data sets. We call it uh, TDC central dogma. So basically what, what, what it means is that TDC is organized in three layers. So the first layer is machine learning problem. Um, and, then, and then in each machine learning problem, we have lots of therapeutic tasks. And then in, and then in each task, we have lots of data sets. So, for, so, so we, we categorize all of this uh, data set in three large machine learning problems. So the first machine learning problem is single instance prediction which basically means given a single biomedical entity, we want to predict some of the properties of these biomedical entities. The second uh, categories of machine learning problem is, is multi-instance prediction, which basically means we have, a, we have a group of instances and then we want to predict their uh, relation or uh, interactions. And then the third one is generation, which basically means uh, we have a set of um, uh, biomedical entities and we want to generate new biomedical entity that has some desirable properties. So, 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 so this kind of uh, modular structure really helped TDC to organize the data set in a, in a clean and organized uh, manner. So TDC uh, has a diverse coverage of therapeutic tasks. So for example, for um, target discovery, we have uh, gene disease association prediction, uh, microRNA target interruption prediction. And for activity screening, we have, uh, for example, high throughput screening, paratope and epitope prediction, uh, drug target interaction prediction, and uh, peptide, MH, peptide MHC, and, and so on. And for efficacy and safety, we have ADMET and, and developability position for antibody and drug drug interaction, and also have numerous uh, molecule generation uh, data set and, and oracles. And, and, for, and for manufacturing, we have reaction yields prediction and the catalyst prediction and richer synthesis and reaction outcome prediction. So in the first release of TDC, uh, this is the, the, the entire data set there that we have. So in total, uh, we have 62 um, data sets. Uh, notably, all of these data sets can be accessed using three lines of code. So here's a demo. 
So we have um, we want we want to access the cell effective permeability data set uh, from the ADME T therapeutic task uh, in the machine learning uh, in a single instance prediction machine learning problem. So simply tap these two two lines of code, you can get a data object where you can apply numerous data functions on it. So for example, we have this data split function. Uh, it will retrieve the the benchmark uh, split with training test validation uh, returned. And uh, also, uh, it's worthwhile to notice that all of the data set in TDC are machine learning ready, which basically means every biomedic entities has uh, has its features. So, for example, here compound we have smiley strings, so which you can feed in uh, any popular uh, machine learning models. And uh, in, in addition to three lines of code, uh, uh, we also like a core TDC library use very minimum packages, so it can be installed hassle free in in, in majority of the operating systems. So simply type type in some PYTDC and then it's good. So I want to highlight some of the some of the data set they covered in the first release of TDC. The first one is AdMet. Um, so we know that AdMet is very important for small small molecular drug discovery. Basically, it measures how uh, how a drug can be delivered to a human body uh, in in a site of action um, safely and and uh, efficaciously. So there are lots of uh, AdMet web servers, but they do prediction instead of open source the data set. So in TDC, we go out and then collect the, the raw original data set from various paper supplementaries, public databases, and, 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 and bioassays. So in the first release, we have uh, 24 of them. So, and, 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 and they cover uh, all, of, all the major five categories, absorption, distribution, metabolism, um, expression, and toxicities. And the, the second highlight is on, is on two important trends in drug discovery. The first one is like uh, the precision, precision medicine. So, so we know that um, instead of like a one drug fits all patient diagram, um, uh, it's 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 usually the case that a drug could have different response for 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 patients with different biomarkers. So this is what exactly the drug response prediction task is doing. Uh, we, so we collect data set from GDSC, and then in each data point we have a drug smiley string and the and the uh, cancer cell lines um, expression profile. And then we want to predict whether or not this pair has high response or, or low response. And another important trend is polytherapy, which is drug combination. We know that when, you, when, when sometimes when, a drug, when drugs are combined together, they could have some synergy effect that can improve treatment, treatment outcomes. So here uh, we, we collect data set from Uncle Poly Pharmacology from Merck. Um, and, in, and in this data set, each data point is a pair of drug and also the, the genomic expression of the cancer cell line. And we want to predict the high response and low, low response. So, so, so this is an example of how uh, this kind of meaningful uh, uh, therapeutic task, but, but they're relatively um, underexplored in the machine learning method um, community. So, the, so uh, the last highlight is biologics. So in the last recent years, there are several, uh, there are numerous machine learning methods that has shown great performance in small molecule tasks, but biologics are, are, are relatively um, underexplored. So in TDC, um, we covered uh, 10, uh, in the first release, we have 10 biologic data set. So for example, for an uh, antibody therapy, we have paratope, epitope, and antibody antigen affinity prediction, which is for the activity of the, par of the antibody. And we also have the antibody developability prediction, which basically measures how, um, how a drug, uh, how, how, how an antibody candidate can move forward to um, antibody therapeutics. So it, it, it's similar to the drug likeness for, for small molecule drugs. And it will also, uh, in addition to antibody therapy, we'll, we have peptide MH, MHC binding prediction, which is super important for vaccine design. And uh, for microRNA therapeutics, we also include that data set for miRNA target interaction prediction. So in addition to all of this data set, we also provide numerous data functions to, to support your research. So we, for example, we have lots of uh, data evaluators for, for, all the, um, for all the therapeutic tasks covered in TDC. And it, will, and it will also provide lots of realistic data split, such as scaffold split for, mo for, for, for molecules. And uh, also lots of data processing um, helpers like visualization, binarization, and graph transformation for, to, if you want to, to do link prediction and uh, database based queries and so on. And the last I want to uh, mention uh, molecule generation oracles, which, which we also provide a simple two lines framework so molecule generation basically aims to generate molecules that has some desirable properties. And this desirable property is measured by some oracles. So, so different oracle would mean uh, different molecule generation tasks. So in, in, in the TTC first version, we collect, the, we collect molecule generation oracles from uh, guacamole, from Moses, and from other uh, papers. And we have 
and we and, uh, and we provide a two lines framework to do that. Simply just specify an oracle name and the smiley string, and then and then you will you will get the the, the scores. So that that's an overview of the TTC initial release. Um, TTC is an open source and community driven effort. So we are, we we are looking for contribution from domain scientists and 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 machine learning researchers. Specifically, we're looking for new therapeutic tasks such as clinical trial, CRISPR, phenotypic screening, and so on. And we're also, also looking for new data sets uh, for existing therapeutic tasks such as high throughput screening AD, and ADMAT and so on. And also looking for um, um, more data functions to, to enrich our uh, data function toolkit. So if you're in interested, please fill in this form and we will get back to you soon. So we also set up a uh, a website which documents all the other data sets and other and all the data functions. So please uh, check it out and uh, explore all the data sets in, in, in TDC. So uh, that's it. Uh, please start, share, and contribute to TDC. Here's the uh, the website link, the GitHub link, and the, the mailing list sign up list. And uh, here are the con contact contact information of all of our team members, our co team members. Thanks. Um, great. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Keshi, for the presentation about TDC, Therapeutics Data Commons. Um, there is one question. Um, so um, are you planning to publish a white paper detailing the curation and pre-processing pre steps for the various data sets included? Yes, yes, definitely. We're we are working on a paper that we're going to uh, release soon, yeah. Okay, uh, great, uh, thank you. Uh